welcome to Model Horse Tech School. Today I'm going to show you how to make panniers. This is actually a very simple pattern. I'm not, there is no pattern, okay? It's not like you have to buy a pattern. I'm going to show you how to do this without a pattern. Pretty simple, okay? First thing is you need fabric. And um, I would say you're going to want something that is woven, not a knit of any kind. All right. Okay, so those are your pattern pieces. You have four. Uh, two and a half inch by two and three quarter. Those, those are your two sides. And then you have two that are two and a half inch wide by 12 inches long. Okay, over the sewing machine, we'll take one of the side panels, put it on one of the 12 inch strips, flush to the top. This will be your front top. Um, you're going to have an open space at the top. The other three sides we need to sew onto that 12 inch piece. So always backstitch and get a secure uh, for the corners as well as the top. And we're just gonna go ahead and do this side. Um, there is a trick to doing this. Um, basically you want the long piece to stay straight and the short piece to turn. So when you get to the corner, you did your back stitch and you get to a quarter inch, you're gonna leave your needle in place and then you turn. And now we have to keep the little square in that position and pull the straight piece over so that the seams align and having that needle down will help you pivot this now there's going to be a tuck of fabric in if you see that that's fabric tucked in try to show you with the light um, that's what will allow you to sew a straight stitch with that corner so we're going to go ahead and do the next stitch and you just want to be careful that you pull that material that's on the inside there far enough away that you don't catch it with the needle. Now, if you need more than a quarter inch seam allowance, go ahead and adjust your pattern. I have quarter inch seam allowance. That's my preference. Um, but if you need more than that, you know, that's fine. There's a back stitch. So I'm going to get ready to do the next corner. Again, needle is down, turn it. And then I'm going to turn or pull that long piece over. And there should be an automatic uh, bunching of fabric that you can like dart. I, I'm not sure how to do it, but you're going to fold it into um, that uh, underneath that little square. And then we'll go ahead and get this last seam all the way up to the top. And um, I don't do fast unless I'm quilting, you know, long rows. Um, so for something like this, my, my needle's on pretty slow. And it's digital, so it's all buttons. I don't have a foot pedal, which I think is standard now. So most of these should have digital. There we go. That's my final stitch there. I'm going to go ahead and turn this so you can see. See, there's your square. Now you're going to do this to um, all four sides so you've got four sides once you do that then this is just hemming up the long piece that's left over this is going to be the cover so this one here will have a cover um, i do that on both sides don't need to show you that now we're going to make a pouch for the bamboo poles um, i'm using bigger poles this here to make sure i make a bigger pouch because i have a tendency to make my pouches too small so we'll go ahead and sew in the pouch for that pole. Okay, I had a hard time showing these uh, ribbon loops at the top. It's eighth inch lace. Loop is about an uh, inch and a half uh, long. Um, and now I'm doing sewing up the um, front edge, um, trying to figure out how much I want to sew up. Um, and then once I did, I did three um, lines because it was about half an inch wide or so. Okay, take a four inch piece of that ribbon and sew it in the middle between those two loops. Alrighty, so next step is we're gonna take a piece of that ribbon and we're gonna glue it to a buckle. This is an eighth inch buckle that fits my lace. And then we're gonna sew it uh, center bottom of this one here. So. Okay, I'm hand sewing this because um, it was really hard to do this on the machine. There's probably a way to put this on, uh, like measure how long it's gonna be and then sew it on before you put the side panels on. 
Um, I'm just going to hand sew it and uh, it, it, that worked okay for me. Okay, I got that sewed on. So now I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the tip of the um, ribbon here just so it doesn't fray. And it also uh, stiffens it up a little bit, makes it easier to buckle. And while that glue is drying, I'm going to go get myself a bamboo skewer. These are the smaller ones. And these will be the poles that I'm going to use. So put that in, get my length. They should be hang over just a little bit. And these are easy enough just to cut with a pair of um, wire cutters. And there you go. Those are your poles. Just bamboo skewers. You could use a dowel. I think they're a little bit too big. So the bamboo skewers seem to work really well for this. The glue on that ribbon tip should be dry by now. So I'm going to go ahead and do the point. This is the house, the roof of a house type point. Um, yeah, I need to find another good pair of wire cutters. These are all worn out. I can't even sharpen them anymore. But anyways, there's, there's the cut. Um, there's the buckle. Okay, we'll go ahead and buckle up that front and uh, take a look at what we got here. Totally empty, empty panniers. And I did make two of them. There we go. Making sure the uh, corners are squared up. Giving them a little bit of shape. They need to be stuffed with something. And we'll do that in a little bit. Okay, so now we have a pack saddle. This one here is the one I made out of wood. It was the first time I'd made this out of wood. I liked it. Now I'm pulling out the um, panniers I made without the lid. They were the first ones I made. Um, and that's what it looks like. A little bit different. Um, as you can tell, they're just pretty much the same thing, just no lid. Now we need to give the panniers some shape by stuffing it full of something. These are just scrap pieces of t-shirts. These are the same ones I used to wipe my hands on to keep the glue off. When it comes time for, um, you know, an entry, uh, it'll be stuffed full of probably, um, I'll make little bags, um, little pillows, and then whatever on the top sticking out, like shovels, and depending upon what the entry looks like. Um, but this will give it a little bit more shape uh, for now. And then once we get it all buckled up, Let's see what it looks like, the finished project on the saddle. Here we go. Put the loops over both of the cross braces. By the way, it is both. And um, do that for the other side. Probably would be easier if it's tacked up, but I just kind of got to give you an idea of how that works. And uh, there you go. Those are the panniers with lids, and like I said, the only difference between these and the other ones without the lids is that I just cut off the extra and tucked it in. There we go. Thank you for spending time with me today. Like, subscribe, tell all your friends about the channel, and you have yourself a really good day.